It's nectar and blossom time again. Look at all the lovely pink. A type of peach, of course, aren't they? Beautiful. I should plant more, shouldn't I? I should have peach and nectar and blossom everywhere. So beautiful. This one must have come up for a seed, from a seed, long before we ever moved here. Look how beautiful it is. Could just as well be a strawberry magnolia, couldn't it, really? So beautiful. nectar and blossom all hidden down here, away from view, unappreciated. Well, if you don't know it's here, I mean. Well, the birds appreciate it, don't they? And the bees. So lovely and pink. So beautiful. Gorgeous. Listen to the bees. And the birds. Is this what paradise is like? Beautiful nectar and blossom. Going out of the trunk, don't they look beautiful? So the bees won't perform for me now. Just when I want the bees to do their thing, they won't do it. I can hear them though. Springtime is nectar and blossom time. Nectar and blossom time. That's what it is. Nectar and blossom time. A blue sky in springtime. A blue sky in springtime. Reminds me of Japanese magnolias. A 
a blue sky in, in springtime with pink blossoms. Listen to the buzz of bees. So that's my report from Down Under on a lovely spring afternoon, September 2014. This is my life. All that happened was somebody threw a nectarine seed on the ground and it germinated. You can do all this too. It's no big secret. Seed planted in the ground plus water plus time equals beauty and loveliness. Looking up high into the tree now. Way up high. That's way up high. Someone's busy, aren't they? Someone's busy on this spring afternoon. Very busy. Very busy.